Okay, so let's talk about this integrated application. I'm going to begin it in the spreadsheet just to set things up, create myself a, a trip expenses tab, and set up some things like when you plan on leaving and returning, number of days and nights you're going to be there, and figure out some costs per day. Things like the flight, the uh, car, the hotel, meals, and spending. Now, <clears throat> to calculate the flight, well, it's going to depend on the number of vacationers times the flight. I'm assuming one in this case, maybe two. We'll see. And uh, then when it comes to car, we're going to calculate the number of days times the price per day of a car, and that'll give us that. The number of nights times the hotel room, uh, recognizing that uh, days are typically, uh, days and nights will be the same on the trip, although your meals may be one higher than that because the day is going to be night plus, or night, uh, night is going to be day minus one, is what it comes down to. Because typically there's an extra day of travel. So once you get this all done, same thing for spending, once you calculate that out, we can then get a sum for the vacation cost estimate. You may have to, in some cases, convert from the currency of the other country to the U.S. dollar, depending on what it is you're uh, like your meals per day may be done in, say, British pounds, as an example. So when I put my best foreign city to visit, to live, to retire, you know, it's your choice. But uh, I'm going to choose London. I'll begin with a website such as Expedia to put in the dates and calculate uh, uh, the best times. I've decided to go from, oh, maybe in May to June, or maybe I'll make it from June to uh, first of June 10th, but whatever, I'll, I'll put in a date and calculate out uh, the price. Now from there, I'm starting to save this application, so I'll put it in uh, my uh, folder with my uh, section letter, my last name, first name, underscore, and the name of the city, or you can put the country, such as England rather than London. So I've got my flight down. At that point, I'll go through and I'll check my uh, cost of a car. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll check my cost of a hotel. So a hotel, I found $578, but I don't think I can afford that. So I'll, I'll find some cheaper prices and put that in. And moving on to uh, cars, I'll put in when I'm going to borrow a car. And I find that uh, in England, not only are they driving on the wrong side of the road, but every car seems to be a manual. That's okay for me because I can drive it with a stick. So put that information in and... Then, of course, I got a lot of research I got to do to write up my whole report on uh, various things to see in, in uh, London. But when I get to my budget, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an object at that point in time. You can Google search all the information to find out about England. And once you're there, you insert an object. That object is going to be, I want to say check mark link to file here. So I'm going to browse around and find that file. I'll find the, the Excel spreadsheet. And when I hit insert, it will then place it right in there. That's important because later on, once I've saved it and I want to come back, it will automatically update those links. That way, if you make changes in the spreadsheet, they'll automatically be reflected in the Word document. Same thing is for PowerPoint. Once you create a PowerPoint based on your information you've learned, it'll also ask you to update the link. So don't be concerned that Microsoft Office has identified a potential security concern. That's just because Microsoft doesn't understand what a virus is because they get hit with them all the time. So you just hit update links and you can move on. And you'll get the same situation there. So you're going to create yourself a PowerPoint slide and include that budget uh, from the Excel spreadsheet into the PowerPoint. At that point, you can start your slideshow from the beginning and uh, enjoy. Once you're all done, of course, what you'll end up doing is saving the three files. That is your uh, section letter, last name, first name, and the name of either the country or the city. And you'll have a Word document, a PowerPoint, and an Excel spreadsheet. And all three of those you're going to drag to the Assignments In folder of Drive R to hand it in.